happy Christmas week. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you don't have to work today or tomorrow. Uh, if you do, I hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, as you may know, this week I'm going to do, from my home in Florida here, all history videos about the history of the United States. And on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I did videos on Washington and Adams. And now we're going to talk about John Adams's term in office from the domestic point of view. Yesterday, we talked about the threat of war with France and his fear of a coup d'etat by Hamilton. And uh, now we'll talk about the uh, domestic situation. After the XYZ affair, that was when the French demanded a bribe uh, from the United States in order to negotiate with them, which kindled an outrage in the United States against the French. And after Citizen Genet, G-E-N-E-T, uh, there was a tremendous outbreak of anti-French feeling in the United States. Citizen Genet was a French ambassador sent in the opening days of the French Revolution while Washington was still president to the United States. And instead of being an ambassador, he went around the country giving speeches, stirring up people to revolt and to favor the French and to demand that the U.S. go to war on behalf of France. And since France was our ally in the revolution, this fell on very receptive ears. Eventually, we threw Genet out of the country. But a combination of the war fever about the XYZ affair and resentment against citizen Genet led everybody to go on a hunt against Jefferson's supporters who were seen as agents of France. Uh, anybody who sympathized with the what was then called the Democratic Republican Party, which was Jefferson's party, opposing the Federalist, was seen as being a subversive agent of France, trying to get us into a war with Britain uh, and letting France run roughshod over our freedoms and liberties and sovereignty. So in that atmosphere, Adams got the Congress to pass the Alien and Sedition Acts, the worst legislation in the history of the United States mars john adams reputation for all history the movies about adams haven't dealt adequately with it the alien acts made it you have to stay in the country longer to become a citizen and made it easier to deport people that were here not as citizens but the sedition act said it was a crime to criticize the government said that if you criticize the president or congress uh you are you can go to jail you can face up to two years in jail or a fine uh, and or a fine. And it really set up a reign of terror in the United States like we've never had before. It was like there was no First Amendment. There was no freedom of speech. In fact, Matthew Lyon, who was a congressman from Vermont, uh, was arrested, a sitting congressman, for, calling it, for saying Adams loved royal finery and monarchical manners and he had like a royal court. Uh, and that was perfectly true. Adams was way too monarchist for the, for the country's sentiment. And uh, he was arrested for that, tried, and imprisoned. Went to jail for four months, ran for re-election from jail, and was re-elected. Uh, but it be the editors of the two leading pro-Jefferson newspapers, one in Richmond, one in Philadelphia, were both arrested and both imprisoned. And it really looked as if we were headed toward a monarchy. And Jefferson was saying, oh my God, this anti-French sentiment is really leading us in this direction. And not only is there a fear of a monarchy, we actually are living in a monarchy. And he began to be worried that the restoration of the king, as had happened in the English Civil War, would happen in the United States. It was against this backdrop that the election of 1800 was conducted in which Jefferson and Adams ran against each other in a rematch of the fight of 1796. That re election was probably the single most important election in American history. Maybe the Lincoln election of 1860 is the only other one. Because in that election, we really faced a question of could we peacefully alternate power from one party to the other, and would the coming of the Democratic pro-Republican Democratic uh, forces uh, ruin the country and send us down the road of the French Revolution. Well, it was a bitterly fought contest. Uh, candidates didn't campaign in those days, their supporters did. 
but the Federalists said that Jefferson was too weak to be president because as governor of Virginia, he'd fled when the British menaced the capital. Uh, they said that he had children with his slave, Sally Hemings, which turned out to be true, but back then was a slanderous rumor. Nobody knew if it was true or not. Uh, and uh, the Republicans replied saying that the Federalists were going to put a monarchy in the United States and it was going to be King John Adams the first, and so forth. Well, the election was held and Jefferson won, sort of. Sort of? We'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. The story of how Jefferson became president after he sort of won the election. Thanks for watching.